What do you think about what Perk just said? The Lakers go in the distance. Um, I agree. Only if they're healthy. I mean, that's okay. a big if. Um, there's a lot of great teams in the West. You have the Clippers, Phoenix, you know, you name them. It's about six out of seven out of eight teams that can win it. Mm -hmm. um, but if they are healthy, uh, I don't go against my man LeBron or AD. Those two guys in a seven-game series are going to be tough to beat. Uh, it looks like they'll match up with Memphis tonight after they get a dub tonight. Mm -hmm. they, do, they do beat Minnesota. But other than that, uh, they'll go Memphis and have Golden State the second round. So it'll be, it won't be easy, but they do have a great chance of winning. I don't think the chance is great. I mean, I give them respect where it's due. They're the best team since since the trade in the Western Conference. I, I'll give them credit for that. I think that AD's an absolute stud, and we all know LeBron is that dude. I get all of that. I just think people are sleeping on Memphis. I think that people have negated or, or ignored how effective Memphis has been lately. They've been playing that without Steven Adams for a while. They've been playing without Brandon Clark for a while, and they still have been flowing. They lost the last game of the season, but they've certainly been winning. The Lakers, for the longest time, at least for the last couple of months, they had been the second-best team in the Western Conference until, you know, until the last uh, day or so of the season. Memphis was number one. Memphis was the one that was playing damn good basketball. And, we, and I think that we have to take into account, yes, we do have a star in LeBron James. There is a star in Ja, in ja Morant. And I'm, uh, and I'm just bypassing Minnesota. I'm just not even thinking about them. Now, I know that Ru Rudy Gobert has been suspended. I know Minnesota plays better, has played better without Rudy Gobert on the floor this year. I get all that, but I am still assuming that the Los Angeles Lakers are going to handle their business tonight, and they will be going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. And I understand without Adams and Clark, it's a problem for their front line, but I just think their perimeter shooting and the greatness of John ja Morant and home court advantage in Memphis – I don't – listen, the Lakers, could they could they get to the final? Sure, because the West is wide open as far as I'm concerned, about six or seven teams. But I can't bet against – I can't bet against Memphis in that series if the Lakers would have played Memphis. I just can't do it. Uh, I just want to address something real quick, Stephen A. Uh -oh. I thought your take on Memphis building John Morant statues was a little wild. It wasn't. Mm. Given that he has not won a championship yet, I thought it was a little wild. I didn't say statues. I said billboards. Do you because think it's that they still oh, got billboards I, of Elvis? I thought it was statues. No, 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 not statues. Oh, okay. It's right, the right, billboards. Right, Man, you're going right. to Memphis. They got billboards of Elvis. What's well, wrong there with should those be, people? There should be it's billboards Elvis of John Morant. I agree with that. That's right. I agree exactly. with that. Okay. Thank you very I don't, much. Correction there. Right. Yes. He's uh, dead. He's dead, ladies and gentlemen. God rest his soul. Let's move on. A couple things. First of all, I said. Two weeks ago, uh, you were not on the show that day. But I, I, I believe this at the time. There, there, there were seven teams that I thought had a chance to win the Western Conference. Mm -hmm. I think there's six teams now. And, and the reason I say that is because Steven Adams is likely to miss the rest of the postseason. They're already missing Brandon Clark. Jaron Jackson Jr., who's my defensive player of the year, he has an issue with foul trouble. Dylan Brooks has had issues with foul trouble. Let's say, which I think will happen, the Lakers win – against the Timberwolves, and it's that matchup, they're going to have some issues guarding Anthony Davis. I, I mean, he's going to put a lot of pressure on Jaron Jackson Jr. This is a team that gets to the free throw line more than any other team in the NBA. I don't love this matchup for Memphis. And the reason I had Memphis in originally, because I thought it would end up probably being Minnesota in that seven spot. And then, of course, uh, they lose this game the other, the other night uh, where Rudy Gobert punches Kyle Anderson. Jaden McDaniels breaks his hand. Nas Reed also out with the wrist injury. To me, those two losses are more significant for that team than for the loss of Rudy Gobert. On the Lakers, you guys have touched on it. This is definitely a team that can win the Western Conference. They've got the best record in the West since the All-Star break. They're a top-five defense. And in particular, that doesn't bode well for Memphis, who really struggles to score the ball in the half court. Rajan, I got, a, I got a question for you because you played against LeBron. You beat LeBron early in his career in the Eastern Conference playoffs. You lost to LeBron in the Eastern Conference playoffs. You won a championship with LeBron. What does it take to beat a LeBron James team in the playoffs? Mm, that's a tough question. Um, it takes a lot of talented players around you. Uh, a team that's willing to sacrifice, understanding that one guy can't stop LeBron. You know, it's going to take all, t all five guys on the floor. Um, the coaching staff, uh, the water boy, everybody. Uh, he's, he's definitely a, a tough, tough force uh, to get a stop with. Uh, he, does, he makes his teammates better. You know, he's a great teammate. Uh, he plays unselfishly. He can go for 45. Looking at the game now, you're all showing. Uh, he went into Boston, gave us 45. You know, we all thought we had the series under our belt. He came in with a different mindset, put his team on his back, and got it done. You know, he, does, he gets it done so many different ways. It's tough to beat a guy like LeBron, but he obviously is beatable. 
and they're going to have to sacrifice and come together as a team and, and get a stop. I'll throw this question to you first, but this is for both of y'all. And I know we're supposed to be debating this topic, but I appreciate the question that you asked because we, we need to know that. I'm looking at the Los Angeles Lakers since the trade, and LeBron has gone out of his way to express how happy he is with his new teammates, Vanderbilt, right. Angelo Russell, Beasley, Mobamba, and these guys. And I guess what I'm wondering about the time that they've had together is it enough to do what y'all say they can do in the Western Conference? Because I haven't heard anybody bring up all the times we hear, we hear y'all talk as players, we hear y'all talk about chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. It takes time, it takes time, it takes time. Then all of a sudden, he gets these dudes, and listen, they played, and they played effectively. But that was the regular season. This is the postseason, the best four seven, best four, you know, best of seven series. Do y'all take that into consideration when y'all are thinking about these Lakers? I personally, I do. But then again, you have the playoffs. You have time. You have uh, rest in between each games. You have a time to build chemistry. You have a time to develop the camaraderie throughout film session, throughout, you know, walk through on the floor. I, I don't doubt it. You know, I say LeBron James, Anthony Davis on the floor. You have your guys that obviously looks like they're bought into their role. You know, D'Lo, uh, Schroeder, Vanderbilt. So, Reeves, I mean, guys are playing their role. They're, they're being stars in their role, and I feel like that's they have a great chance of getting it done. So, S.A., would it be a bigger letdown if the Bucks or Celtics don't reach the finals and capitalize on the window they have right now? For me, it's the Milwaukee Bucks. They would be the bigger disappointment. Obviously, the Boston Celtics are the reigning defending Eastern Conference champions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we get that. And I think the pickup of Malcolm Brogdon has been big time. I think you have questions at the coach's spot. You brought up Ty Lue with the Clippers. I'm going to bring up Missoula with the Boston Celtics. Okay. Whether well, he's been good as a regular season. Ime Udoka got them to the finals. Okay, so he's got a lot to live up to. Let's see what happens with that. I don't know. What, what the hell was up with Jalen Brown, who I love? I mean, what, was he out gardening or something? How the hell did he mess up his hand? I don't know what I mean. Before the playoffs, you know, before the playoffs in Boston, how you hurt your hand with plants? And that's what they said. Well, wait, do, you, do you say vase or vase? Vase. I don't know. I don't vase. know. Vase. Vase. Is it a vase, vase or a vase? I, I, I said vase. I said vase. Okay, vase. Just, said what vase. do you say? I just want to see how fancy you are. What do you I say, say vase. I say vase. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, we'll go with Vase and Vaz. How about that? Which one? Vaz. Whichever one works. At the end of the day, my Lord, how the hell you hurt that your hand your before thing? the playoffs with something like that? But that's neither here nor there. I believe in Jalen Brown. Somehow he'll be ready. I'm just looking at all the noise that people have been chirping about when they talk about the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis, in some people's eyes, obviously Warren's being MVP. We can't dismiss that. We know how great he is. Brooke Lopez having an outstanding season. Porter's having an outstanding season. Drew Holiday has been off the chain. And you're hoping that Middleton is going to be there. I'm like, if all those pieces are there, you pick up Crowder, you've got veteran experience, you've got athleticism, you've got perimeter shooting, you got exceptional coaching in Budenholzer, you got defense, you got trees on the front line, and you lose. Whether it's the Boston, Philly, because I think that's what it'll come down to, those three. I mean, come on. I'm not trying to hear that from a walk. Now, I expect Boston to go to the finals, to be honest with you. That's my, that's my favorite to come out of the East. Even with Joe? You just said it. Even with Joe. That's right. That's right. But with all the chirping they've been doing about Milwaukee, yeah, that's the disappointment. That's what I'm going with. I got to disagree. Oh. I got to disagree. What's up, Rondo? It's called Tattletown, Beantown. Okay. They expect to win. Okay. It's been a very long time since they've, been, they've hosted that trophy. Mm-hmm. So going back, you know, to the finals last year, getting it done, that's not going to work. We don't hang Eastern Conference banners in Boston. Mm. Mm. That was a bar. Yeah. Bar. And I liked his listening <laughs> skills, how he held your point was, against you. That was you a very was valid over. point. I mean, I'm here thinking about basketball now, but I'm like, he is right about that. You know, it is being town. They do expect banners. I got it. Go ahead, JJ. Well, look, I – I don't think you could – you could make the argument that both teams would be disappointed. That's obvious. I think any team that has championship aspirations, they're gonna, there's going to be a level of disappointment. Uh, Rondo's right here in talking about the history of the Boston Celtics and the rabid fan base that they have in New England. Like, I get all that. But the reality is both these teams – they're the two best teams in the NBA. Mm -hmm. If they end up making the Eastern Conference Finals and playing each other, one of those teams is going to be disappointed. Okay. Like, that's the reality. Yeah, sure. And look, the thing with Boston for me, I think we talk a lot about the Bucks being the favorites. The thing with Boston for me, they, they, they were consistently great. 
They had a little, little stretch in March where they didn't play great. Other than that, they were the, the best team consistency-wise for most of the season. The only, the, only two, the only team in the top two in offense, the only team in the top two in defense, both in both. Right. There's, that's happened twice in 25 years. It was the 15 Warriors and the 17 Warriors. Both those teams won. So, you know, you watch them play, they look like a championship team. On paper, they look like a championship team. So I, I, I kind of agree with Rondo on this, but to me, like, both teams are going to be disappointed. Can I throw something out that Kendrick Perkins obviously played for Boston, your former team, and as well said yesterday, he's worried about Miami. Obviously, we know Miami has to get past Atlanta. Thinking that Miami could give Boston trouble, to that you say what? No. No, they'll make it a series, but I don't think it'll give them trouble. We agree. Are they playing? Yeah. Boston and Miami are playing each other? Huh? Say what? Boston well, and Miami. Well, if, if Boston Miami and Miami beats, beats Atlanta, Atlanta the night, they're the seventh seed, they play yeah. Boston. I didn't realize they played that game yet. Yeah. Right. I think oh, since the trade, look at they're deep. So, look at you. You're ridiculous. You say you're taking Atlanta? No, I'm just saying. Oh, like, God. Ooh. One step at a time? So one, it's a one-game one one game series. At a time. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, happen I agree day. with you, but you didn't say that when we would talk bypass in Minnesota to talk about the Lakers <laughs> Memphis. I, you didn't say that no. then. No. I said the loss of Jaden McDaniels and Nas Reed is more important than the loss of Rudy Gobert for that game. I'm not debating. They're not. They're I'm not, not winning that game. Debating that, that top. Anthony done. Edwards. What I'm had saying is, for them you to win. didn't say let's not bypass Minnesota. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You didn't say that. Right. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.